You read for hours. You highlight the entire book. You underline every definition. You nod like you understand it all. But the moment you shut the book, it's all gone. Nothing sticks. It's like your brain is a leaky bucket dripping facts and formulas with every tick of the clock. But here's the truth. Your brain is not broken. It's just not being used the way it was designed. And in the next few minutes, you're going to learn exactly how to make it remember everything you read. Not just for a test, not just for a day, but for your entire life. Part 1. Why we forget. Let's start with why your brain chooses to forget. It's not an accident. It's not a failure. It's by design. You see, the brain is like a super efficient minimalist. Every day it's bombarded with over 34 gigabytes of information. That's like watching Netflix for 16 hours straight daily. If it stored everything, you'd short circuit. So instead, it filters. Ruthlessly. It asks one brutal question. Is this important? If the answer is no, it deletes it. No backup, no recycling bin. Just gone. That's why you can remember a TikTok sound from three years ago, but not what you read yesterday. But here's the powerful truth. If you can make your brain believe something matters, it will hold onto it like gold. And that's what we're going to do. Manipulate the system. Use the science of memory against itself. And build a mind that remembers everything you read. Part 2. The brain's language. Memory science. Simplified. There are three gates every piece of information must pass through to become a memory in your mind. Gate 1. Attention. You can't remember what you never noticed. If your eyes are on the page but your mind is on Instagram, it's already lost. Gate 2. Encoding. This is where the brain decides how to store the data. Is it a story? A picture? An emotion? Your brain doesn't like flat facts. It wants texture. Gate 3. Retrieval. This is the secret sauce. The more often you recall something, the deeper it embeds in your mind. Your brain remembers better when information is reviewed at increasing intervals. Day 1, then day 3, then day 7, then day 14. It's called the spacing effect, and it's pure neurological magic. Part 3, the three-level reading method. Most people read like tourists, rushing through, snapping photos, forgetting everything the moment they leave. Now I'll teach you how to read like a scientist. Level 1, the skim. Before you dive in, scan the material. Look at headings, subheadings, diagrams. Ask yourself, what is this about? What do I already know? What do I expect to learn from this? This activates prior knowledge and tells your brain, hey, this is relevant. Level 2. The deep dive. Now read actively. Don't just move your eyes. Ask questions. Make predictions. And most importantly, pause after every paragraph and try to recall what you read. Don't highlight. Don't annotate. Just speak. Teach it back. Say it out loud or pretend you're explaining it to a wall. Level 3. The squeeze. After the chapter, summarize it in your own words. No copying. Write it like a story. Part 4. The Recall Revolution. Forget rereading. Forget rewatching. The brain learns not by input, but by output. The real test of memory isn't how well you read. It's how well you remember without the book. This is active recall, the king of memory techniques. When you force your brain to retrieve information, you send a message saying, store this, we'll need it again. Make flashcards. After every study session, quiz yourself. That's how memory grows. This is how elite students dominate exams without ever touching a highlighter. Part 5. Pictures, palaces, and hooks. Your brain wasn't built to remember words. It evolved to remember pictures. That's why stories, jokes, and weird images stick. So use it. Turn concepts into crazy visuals. Reading about white blood cells? Imagine them as security guards in sunglasses beating up bacteria. Studying the solar system? Picture the planets as a dysfunctional family sitcom. It may sound ridiculous, that's the point. Ridiculous is memorable. And if you want to take it further, build a mind palace. Take a place you know, your home, your school, anything. Assign different facts to different locations. The entrance could store the periodic table. The fridge holds your math formulas. Your bed? That's where Shakespeare's plays sleep. The mind loves places. It loves associations. Use them. Part 6. Engage the whole brain. The more senses you use, the more memory you build. Don't just read, say it out loud, draw it, teach it, record it, and listen on walks. This is called multimodal learning. Want to go next level? Teach someone else. If you can't explain it simply, you don't really understand it. Teaching is the ultimate test and the ultimate memory builder. Part 7. The Forgotten Variable No memory hack will work if your brain is starving, stressed, or sleep-deprived. Sleep isn't a luxury, it's the hard drive where your brain stores memories. 
If you pull an all-nighter before a test, you're not remembering more, you're remembering less. Eat plenty food. Hydrate yourself. Exercise. Cut the digital noise. Your brain is a machine. Treat it like a Formula One car, not a junkyard scooter. You are not forgetful. You are just untrained, but not anymore. From today, you don't just read. You absorb. You store. You remember. So subscribe. Because every video here, it's not just content. It's a weapon for your mind. And trust me, you'll want more. This isn't the end. It's the beginning of a memory revolution. And if this video helped unlock even a fraction of that power, then do one thing. Subscribe. Not for me. Not for the algorithm. But for you. Drop a comment below. I will never forget again. Let's make it your declaration of war against forgetfulness.